Hello there and welcome back. This is the Total OS Today Technology Channel, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. If you like technology and are curious about Linux, you've come to the right place, especially if you are a Windows user, because so am I. But for tonight, let's talk a little bit about the next Linux Mint 18, codenamed Sarah. A terrific Linux Mint is wonderful and it's terrific for beginners. It has been and continues to be. But the next one will be called Sarah. You can get more information here. Briefly, Linux Mint 18 to be released around May, June 2016. Linux Mint will be based on the next Ubuntu 16.04 LTS long-term support and supported until 2021. Very good. Now, I'm sure there'll be tweaks here and there, maybe run a little bit smoother, different themes. What I'm interested in primarily especially for beginners is will there be an easier upgrade path from the previous or now the current Linux Mint 17.3 in the past if you had Linux Mint they wanted to upgrade to the next one say you had Linux Mint 1 and you want to install Linux Mint 2 you couldn't just do a few clicks or a few terminal commands and then download and install the next one normally it was recommended that you back up all your important documents and stuff from Linux Mint 1 and then download Linux Mint 2 and then do a full install thereby erasing Linux Mint 1 at least that's how it has been recommended for this one it may be that from what I read here in the comments yes it looks like they're planning on working on one it says here will there be an upgrade path from Linux Mint 13 I can't guarantee, according to Clem, he is the originator of Linux Mint, he says he can't guarantee it, but they're working on one for 17.3 going over or upgrading to 18. I think that would be terrific and be a lot easier for beginners, especially if they download 17.3, they like it and want it to do an upgrade with a few simple clicks here and there. So that's what I'm looking for, if that is going to be implemented in the next Linux Mint 18, codename Sarah. All right, so that's all I have for this one. If you haven't already, go ahead and vote. The latest poll, how to stop texting and driving. You have some options here, higher fines, mandatory jail time, one year license suspension, impound the car, community service, all of the above. I'm never going to stop talking about this because I see idiots almost every day and my son just got his permit. So I don't want him to get hit by a rear end hole. Anyway, let's, let's see what we have here for results so far. Well, it looks like the one year license suspension, suspension seems to be popular. Anyway, go ahead and voice your opinion by voting. This ends January 31st. It's here on the TotalOSToday.shop blog i hope to have my harry's blades come in this this week that'll be the next thing i will be testing a little bit of shaving technology that's it that's all i have enjoy your technology please don't text and drive as always and uh i'll catch you next time